Yeah, what's good with y'all, man? So, uh, I'm just gonna recap this Broncos game real quick. Bro, I'm so fucking stressed right now. Uh, it's just painful to be a Broncos fan right now. We have the worst fucking team in the NFL. It doesn't appear that we're gonna get any fucking better. Um, yeah, let Russ cook, man. It's like, what, what the fuck are we cooking, bro? Fucking lumps of fucking coal. This guy's fucking terrible, man. Uh, the coach is fucking terrible. Nathaniel Hackett, I, I don't think you know what you're fucking doing. Um, I forgot, I forgot the fucking offensive coordinator's, uh, name, but I'll throw you in there too, bro. You fucking stink as well. Um, first, I think this is his first year coaching or whatnot, so... Let me let me let me actually get his name because we're gonna we're gonna give him some we're gonna we gotta throw his name out there. Let him know. Justin Alden, bro. Yeah, you're, you're fucking terrible too. Uh this is first year as a uh offensive coordinator in the NFL. Um man, we we got fucking finesse, we got fleece, the Broncos, we were tricked. Uh I don't know how to fuck Daniel Hackett won a coaching gig. Um I don't know how he won over these guys in in the front office to get the job, but somehow he managed to do so. He finessed he finessed them big time. Um, I I don't know. Do you have some blackmail or or what? Because <laughs> this guy is terrible. Um, this and honestly, we're just a we're just a pathetic team overall. Like coaching on down, bro. We're we're not getting the best out of any of our players except for the guys on defense. The defense is fucking balling. Actually, I won't take that back about the whole team. I'm going to say offense and coaching, special teams is terrible. Um, I, I I don't get what what's the direction we're going in. Um, our identity on offense, we don't have one. Defensively, I, and, and there's still some complaints I have for the defense, but for the most part, I can't really complain too much when... Um, We've only given up what tw over twenty points in one game in 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 fucking six weeks. So w what can I really complain about, right? As far as the defense goes, um, we're we're playing a lot of bend but don't break defense. Oh, uh, that's that's probably been my only complaint that we kind of let teams sustain drives because we 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 don't really you know we don't really gamble enough, right? We don't gamble a lot. Um, we sit back in that quarters match defense. Um, we play we play a lot of off coverage and um and we just kind of let them take the underneath stuff and hope and hope that the pass rush gets there and uh it, it's been working for the most part so I can't complain um but I, I do feel like you know that's kind of limited that kind of limits you know your your opportunities to force take uh force uh turnovers especially when um. Especially when you when you play that type of defense, right? Because uh, a lot of quarterbacks, you know, uh, disciplined quarterbacks will just, t you know, sit there and take the check downs, take the little five yard uh, crossing routes and, you know, slants and curl routes. But man, uh, let's get back to the let's get back to the offense. I want to talk about uh, well, what happened with Melvin Gordon, bro? I, I want to know what happened to Melvin Gordon today. He got he got probably like two or three carries early. Then he didn't touch the ball after that. Is it an injury? Because we, di I did know he was questionable coming into this game. Or was this kind of like a bench and where we're like, all right, I like how Latavius. Let's see how Latavius Murray does. But, um, but I do kind of, I kind of lean towards it being an injury just because, um, Melvin Gordon is a way better pass, uh, pass, you know, pass blocker than, um. Then I'll probably say Latavius Murray or Mike Boone. So for us to not have him and you know not to be using him in the uh, receiving game at all, lets me kind of feel like it was an injury. And then let's get on Russ, bro. This guy abs absolutely shit the bed. Um, started out, you know, kind of started out on fire. I think he was ten for ten, and then he went five for like seventeen the rest of the way. Um. He let's I'm gonna show you guys some some stats, bro. We're gonna bring it up right here. Went five or seventeen the rest of the way. Um, didn't throw no picks, but sacked four times. But this is what I really want to get on, bro. Russell was I almost called him Russell was, but they both one and the same right now. They both terrible, right? And and I honestly like you know because I I wasn't a guy that was watching every Seahawks game. You know you see you see kind of the miracles. That are up. Russ was pulling off in Seattle, and you and I actually watched how Seattle played, and a lot of their game script was run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, pass, 
they they like Russell Wilson really was finishing games a lot of the times with like eighteen to twenty completions. You ne- you rarely ever saw Russell what I'll keep almost calling him Russell Westbrook. You really ever saw Russell Wilson with like a f- forty five passing attempts like that. That really wasn't happening. They relied on the defense and uh you know run game use a lot of clock and whatnot and uh you know just connect on big plays but for some reason Russell, Russell Wilson his his accuracy just fell off a fucking cliff uh he's missing throws honestly um i'm not even giving him the benefit of the doubt saying it's a shoulder it's a shoulder injury because even before they said he got injured in the Raiders game even before that game he was stinking it the fuck up um but like i said i never noticed like like i said i never noticed some of the some of Russ Russ's uh deficiencies as a quarterback. So now that I'm actually watching him every week, I notice the simple things like all right, he doesn't do any fucking slide. He doesn't do he does not do any slide protection. He does not do he does not adjust any of the pass protection. You know that's what slide protection is. Pass he doesn't do any adjustments with the pass pro. He doesn't audible in anything. I don't even hear him. I don't hear him. You know you see. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm spoiled by the elite quarterbacks like the Peyton, Tom Brady. Yeah, the kill, kill. You see, you see it. You see advantage to to probably run the ball. You see him. You'll probably see them like you know the elite quarterbacks will audible down to that code. You know that's the code they say kill, kill. Or you know you see somebody. You see the DB is coming off a of blitz. You'll be like, all right, hi, hi, hi. It's a receiver supposed to. Receiver supposed to know. All right, if the slot, if, if you see it's a slot blitz, you say, all right, hi, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Corner, the wide receiver, you know, run a little quick curl route, right? I don't see any adjustments from West, Russell Wilson. I don't see him. I don't even know if I, I don't even know if I see him fucking, uh, you know, like trying to identify any of the blitzers, right? I don't see him identify any of the mics. I don't see him, you know, fake calling for a fake, uh, fake snap just to see who's going, who's coming, who's not coming. A lot of shit is just okay. I get the play call. I line up, I let the fucking play clock fall to under five seconds every fucking time. So now when the ball is snapped, the fucking lot, the, the pass rushers are able to get off on the ball a lot faster because they know you have fucking like two seconds to snap the ball, right? So you're giving them, they, they, they're fucking zooming in off the ball. Um, and just everything is, is just, it's just all bad, right? So a lot of times we've seen Russell. I've seen Russ check down either to the running back super fast before he makes a, uh, any reads, or I see him make him the wrong read. Like, I can honestly look at my fucking TV. I, I'm not a quarterback. I'm not even going to act like I'm a fucking expert. I'm actually looking at, okay, I'm looking at the line. I'm seeing how, I'm looking at how far the DBs are playing off. I'm looking at the the leverage. Um, okay, he sent the guy in motion. Is he, they're in zone. All right, so I can already tell off rip. All right. If there's if there's any type of quick passing quick passing concepts, this is where the ball should be going. But he'll fucking you can see a fucking DB playing twenty yards off. This motherfucker will look at the guy on the left getting fucking getting his ass pressed, right? Getting fucking pressed off the line, something crazy. And I'm just like, bro, he's making all the wrong reads. Uh, as far as post snap goes, making all the wrong reads pre snap. I I I really don't know what to fucking say, bro. Um. This is just honestly just just horrible, bro. We there's no there's no reason we should have lost this game, bro. This defense has been doing this shit for the last since 2000 fucking 14, bro. This defense has been putting a team on his fucking back, and of course, you know we did win the Super Bowl 2015, but ever since that fucking year, we haven't got a productive offense. And even in that year, our offense was not even that shit was terrible too, but. We was able to overcome it because we just had nothing but dogs everywhere in the fucking defense, bro. Um, we were forcing turnovers. We had to leave. We had Chris Harris. We had Bullhawks. Of course, we had Von Miller, um, Brandon Marshall. We had we had some fucking dogs. Justin Simmons was still there. Um, we we really had some dogs. The TJ Ward, man, we had some fucking dogs, bro. Um, and I'm, I'm I don't want to shit on defense like that. So I'm not even gonna get too much onto the defense. But the defense been fucking carrying. For almost a fucking decade, bro. And this offense has been fucking practically shit. Um, we going from the fucking Trevor Simeons to the Teddy Bridgewater. Um, we, we, to fucking Drew Locke, Brock Osweiler. Um, god damn, bro. Who else, who else has been in there? 
It's fucking Brett Rippin. I'm just saying names now. We just had a bunch of shitty quarterbacks, bro. And and you can add Russell Wilson um, to that list. But now, unfortunately, he's one of the fucking richest quarterbacks in the NFL. And we're paying him practically $50 million a year. So, um, And we just gave away some, uh, some first-round picks to get him. Bro, I, I honestly... I honestly would even be this mad if if we didn't get Russell Wilson. Like if we just decide to thug it out and draft the uh you know stink it up this year, I'd be totally fine with that. We get a top pick. We got C.J. Stroud. We got fucking uh what's the dude from USC? Caleb Williams. We got guys like that coming out in the draft this year, bro. We got some fucking dogs coming out in the draft this year. Bryce Young. I mean he's short as hell, but he's a guy that's gonna probably be coming out as well. Um. What's the guy from Kansas? Uh, not Kansas. Um, Hendon Hooker, he's kind of old, so I don't really count him. Um, damn, damn. Is it Kansas State or Kentucky? Oh, Will Levis. Will Levis. We got Will Levis coming out, man. We got some We got some good prospects coming out. And um, it's just unfortunate. We, we're, go- we're not going to make the playoffs. I already gave that hope up. Um. It's just all bad, right? It's just all fucking bad. And I've just been ranting for I don't even know how long. It's already been 11 fucking minutes, right? I'm still talking about this bullshit-ass game. Um, Now, I do want to show you guys this, too. You know, just to just keep shitting on Russell Wilson. Just because he deserves it, bro. He's a piece of shit. Um, yeah, I'm calling him now. I don't give a fuck. Russ in the second half in overtime. 3 for 11, 15 yards. Tebow laughs at him. Tebow fucking laughs at him. Tebow fucking laughs at this piece of shit, bro. There's no fucking way. We're paying a quarterback 48 fucking million dollars, bro, a year, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the exact number. For him to go 3 of 11 for 15 yards. Yo, can now, now I have to go see how many possessions we had in the second half because that's going to make it even fucking worse. So let's see. One, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fucking possessions. He had 15 yards. You can't make this up, bro. This man is cooked. Not not doing the cooking. You can't make this up. And um I would love to hear what you uh what the rest of Broncos uh Crunchy has to say about this or whoever's watching this video, man. Um Come on, bro. I don't want to hear this short. bullshit. Turn that down. Um, I like I said, I would love to hear what you guys uh thought about this game. What you think about uh us going forward this season? Um, what needs to be done? What changes can be made? Um, and really, that's about it, man. I just had to get some frustration, some of my frustration off, cause I just can't take it, bro. Honestly, I can't take it, and uh. I almost want to say I'm not gonna even watch any Broncos games the rest of the year, but I'm I'm not I'm not that I'm not that fickle of a fan, right? I'm gonna still watch the game, but I'm just at the point where I have zero expectations of anything going forward. I'm just pretty much what I'm what I'm just looking forward to is talking shit about Patrick's or not talking shit, uh, hyping up Patrick Sertain as being the best cornerback in the NFL because he did his fucking job. Um, he came to play like the rest of the defense, except for oh my god, I lied, I lied. That rookie that we had, the the uh the Mars Mathis or however you say his fucking name. Oh my god, bro, he he, he almost gave me a heart attack in, in this game, bro. This guy had like four pass interferences. Um, let me see how where's where's he at? The Mari Mathis, bro. Oh my god, bro. Five, yo, this dude legit had at least four pass interference calls this this game. Um, uh, I do want to shout out some of the defense too before I get out. Actually, I lied about ending it. Um, Bradley Chubb, I think he had a few pressures. Um, and then he wasn't too much of a factor this game. Of course, Baron Brown and he was on his bully <laughs> Ohio State shit. Let's get at um PJ Locke with the fucking bonehead play of the day. Oh my God. Montreal, Montreal, uh, Washington calls for the fair catch, and this dude just stays like in front of him and tries to block a fucking, uh, uh, one of the gunners or something. Like, you have to be absolutely fucking stupid, bro. There's no way, bro. It's, <laughs> I- I'm gonna just end this video because I- I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get even more mad. I'm trying to, I was, I was, I was already calming down a little bit, so, um, 
like I said, let me know what you guys think about the uh the game and uh the Broncos going forward, man. Uh that's it for me. I'm out. Peace.